So I would like to show you how to reuse a post uh, or an assignment. So for example, I taught uh, my other sections of physics on Tuesday. And so tomorrow I want to be able to have the same assignments show up for my sixth period class. So I'm going to go to the classwork tab in my sixth period class. And I'm going to click create. And I'm going to click reuse post. And then I usually reuse a post from second period physics, but if I wanted to reuse a post from a different class, I can click this back button and select whichever class period it is that I want to reuse the post from. So for this time, I am going to use the one from second period, and I want to reuse this post called Seismic Waves and the Earth's Interior. So I just click on that assignment, I click reuse. And then it pops up with all the stuff. So I have the Google Drive folder that I have articles in, the article that I want them to read, and a Google Doc uh, that I want them to fill out. So I've found that I would like to be able to see the progress students are making as they are working. So by, by putting in here a blank Google Doc uh, that I've already named for them and having it make a copy for each student, um, this is going to make it easier for me to be able to click on their assignment before they've even turned it in to see what progress they're making. So all of the attachments and the instructions and the name of the assignment are already populated and then I just need to click which period I want it to be in. So I could click here and then select maybe I want it for sixth and seventh period and I want to post it today. Um, I can select how many students I want it to be published for. Um, the points, this is the only one that really needs to get changed and that's the due date because the due date is going to depend on which class period it is. Um, and so that's the only thing you really need to update from one class period to the other. And then you just need to click assign. It'll take a second because it's making a copy for each student, but otherwise that'll be all you need. And there it is. It's shown up right here at the top under my topic for week three, seismic waves and the Earth's interior. Hope that was helpful.